Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the 5M client. This is not how to install a server or run a server or create a server. This is just the 5M client to connect to other people's servers. Just before we start, I'd just like to clarify what 5M is and who can play it. So 5M is a modded client for GTA 5 that enables you to play multiplayer on customized dedicated servers created and hosted by other players. This is only available on PC not console so no xbox playstation no 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 consoles basically it's only available on pc as a prerequisite you do need to have grand theft auto installed so you can have it on steam or epic games you don't need any specific version on the rockstar launcher if you like uh, you just need a legal copy of gta basically so first what we need to do is go to 5m.net on the internet i'll have this linked in the description just so you can click there quickly so what we will need to do is press the big pink download client button. So if we click that, it's basically just a terms of service. You can just press sure, I agree. We'll just start the download for you. So you can just put this in your downloads on your desktop. It doesn't really matter. I'll go ahead and put mine on my desktop. And then what we can do is run the installer that we've just downloaded and it will start bootstrapping 5M. So it's basically installing 5M for us. And here, as you can see, it's opened up a file explorer for me and it says in the top left what I need to do. Go to your game directory and select GTA 5 to be able to launch 5M. Uh, so basically for you, it won't already have GTA installation folder open. What you'll need to do, for example, if you've got the Steam version, is you'll need to go to your GTA 5 on your library, right click it and go to properties. Go ahead and go to local files and go to browse. And as you can see here, gta5.exe is what we're looking for. So we can copy this address at the top on the file explorer. And go back to the file explorer that's open. And we can just paste the, the directory that we're in. Obviously, I'm already in this directory. And you'll need to find gta5.exe and click on that. So it's blue, selected, and press open. And that's just verifying that GTA is correctly installed. And it comes up with the game data outdated for example you may not have this all you'll need to do is just press yes if this does come up it most likely will uh, because there's obviously lots of micro patches that are released and as you can see here it's just updating the 5m cache to be up to date and 5m is now starting up and once 5m starts up like so it will just prompt you to sign in with the cfx.re account so cfx.re is basically the community that created 5M. So you can sign up at the bottom with register, uh, or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. I'm just gonna press browser login because I'm already logged in on my browser. And authorize and open 5M once more. And here we go, I'm logged in. So now once you're in, uh, you may not have any favorites or anything like that, but what you can do is press play in the big button on the top left. And here you will see the list of servers on the internet. So what you can do is if you're looking for a certain type of roleplay or, or server in general, there's not only roleplay servers, uh, what you can do, for example, let's say I'm looking for a British roleplay server, I can type British RP. And I, as, as you can see, I can see like a British roleplay server, for example, uh, lots of ones do come up on here. So whenever you do want to connect to a server, for example, I can just click on one and just press this pink connect button. And as you can see, it will say 5M needs to restart. Basically what this is, is all of these servers that are hosted by people will always be on a different version. Uh, so it will just need to update your, your version of 5M to the same one as the server each time you want to connect to it. Uh, this isn't like reinstalling 5M or anything, it's just updating so you can connect to that server. Uh, and there's nothing to be afraid of by doing so. On 5M, you can also go to Replay Editor. So if you've got replays saved on GTA, uh, you can also press Story Mode. So you can just load into GTA 5 Story Mode. Uh, just so you know, this is completely separate from the GTA 5 installation. Uh, so there's no risk of getting banned on GTA Online or anything like that. And as you can see, I'm now in GTA 5 Story Mode. Uh, it's all fully functioning like gta this is basically so you can also do mods on just single player gta uh, or you can go on to other people's servers for example as you can see at the bottom here we've got starter server 
uh, which links you to zap posting i do have a tutorial showing how to create a server with zap posting i'll have that propping up on the cards in the top right now alternatively you can uh, host the server on your own computer i also have a link to a tutorial for creating your own server linked below as well and of course i've got my full 5m programming playlist on how to create many resources for your server so that's basically everything covered in this guide uh, it's just a quick and simple one just to get you guys fully aware on how to install 5m if you haven't done so before so that's everything from me today if you guys enjoyed please hit the like button it really does help me out hit subscribe if you haven't already stick around i'm going to be doing a lot more 5m videos in the near future um, and be sure to join my my discord server for support if you do need it thank you guys and see you later